Hi everyone, it's Sarah here from Bear Art and today I'm here to talk about different foods that are available in South Australia as opposed to Seoul, Korea. Because in Adelaide we love to cook Korean food as well, but not all ingredients are available. So I'm here today to show you what ingredients I can um, use. So I go by the recipes in Aaron and Claire's videos and you can check out the link above uh, for awesome recipes and I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you my favourite ingredients. Let's go. Pleasure. So the first ingredient I like to use is the pancake mix. So when I'm making chijon, um, this is an integral part of Korean cooking if you want to make kimchi pancakes. It's um, yeah, one of my favourites. The next, the next thing I use is the fried chicken mix for cooking. So I love fried chicken and I cook probably far too much than I should. But this is the stuff that I'll use. You can also check out Aaron and Claire's recipes for how to cook fried chicken. So, what else? We have an array of snacks, but we don't generally use the snacks in cooking. So, I will keep showing you what other items there are. Okay, so the next really important ingredient that um, we use is dashida. So this stuff is, this is a beef stock and this will just enhance the flavour of your food and help, as Aaron says, it'll make it more restaurant quality. Or, we also have MSG. So don't worry about it. It'll make your food just taste so much better. <laughs> so another really important item uh, one thing in South Australia that we do find very hard to obtain is the Korean pear, which is used for bulgogi and all sorts of um, recipes that involve a Korean pear to help break down the meat. So in that case, unless you're like me who have a nashi pear tree growing out the backyard, Aaron recommends that you use these. This is Korean pear juice, and you can actually use this as a substitute to break down meat, and it does a fabulous job doing so. Another popular item is Spam. We put Spam in the Buddha Jjigae and all things like that. It's also really good on toast with some steak sauce. <laughs> so now to my favourite part of the shop, and that is the noodles. There are so many noodles here to choose from. My, um, I love the, the kimchi noodles and I actually need to get some of them today so I'm going to take these with me but these are really nice and they have a lovely flavour. Also, chapgeti you would recognise from the movie Parasite as well as the noguri. These are both put together with some different types of meat and that's it's synonymous with Parasite the movie. I'm going to put that back there. My all time favourite though, and the one that I live on most of the time, and there will be a separate video with how I like to make it, and that is the Jim Ramyon. This is my all time go to. I love these noodles. They are Otogi brand, and they are just delicious, especially when you crack an egg into the top of it just as it's cooking. There, this is the mild version, which is quite spicy but I'm getting used to the spice myself. They do have a spicy version as well, which is spicy. <laughs> um, and Samyang Ramyeon. I've tried this as well and I really like it. Um, I first saw this in the K-drama Mr. Queen. That is a fabulous drama. I suggest you get onto Netflix and watch it. Actually, no, it's not on Netflix, it's on Vicky. Vicky is where you're going to see Mr. Queen, and this is really good. The next one is the Shinra, popular one. Um, you can generally get these in any supermarkets, um, but they are extremely spicy. Just ask my son, he lived on these when we were over in Seoul. <laughs> that was interesting. Me, I just lived on Jin Ramyun. <laughs> 
these, I've not tasted all of these. However, I have tried the Budak fire noodles. Now there is another awesome recipe from Aaron and Claire's uh, YouTube channel that has a bacon and cream version mixed with this. It's amazing. I really suggest you try it. Okay, the next item I'm going to speak about is gochujang. This is an absolute key staple and you can, it's, it's such a good thing that you can get this in Adelaide because without it you can't really cook Korean food. Well, you could, it's just not the same. There is also Chuenjang and this is a bean paste. I don't, haven't personally used this but Deb does and she makes the most amazing soups with it. It is really, really, really good. And samjang. So samjang is a mixture of the gochujang and the chuejang. Um, and you can actually use this as a dipping sauce, especially if you mix it in with, um, follow me. There is another item, just to give it that gloss. That is corn syrup. This stuff will make your food really sweet. Insanely sweet, but it gives it that gloss that you need. Drivers in Adelaide are extremely friendly. Hello. Hello.